comes on Unser Jr. Then Zanardi, then Fittipaldi. Zanardi, the pole sitter, the early leader. He looks like he wants to make a move on Scott. I tell you what, he looks racy. He challenged Fittipaldi quite handily. All right. Heard it just came in. Boy, look at this oh, guy, Zanardi. Tries to get down on the inside. Heavy, heavy braking. He saved something for the end here. Zanardi, then Fittipaldi, then Ray Hall in sixth. Back to second place. Again, look at Zanardi. I want to be in the... Look at that crowd. Cheering Andre Ribeiro on 130 laps of 133 complete. Let me tell you, if I was in this race, I want to be right where Andre Ribeiro is right now. Way out in front, no battle, I'm clean. I'm, nobody's around me, nobody's challenging me. And I'm out there, all I've got to do is drive a good line. I don't have to worry about traffic. Everything's going my way. Little Al, on the other hand, he's got his hands full. Saw the white flag last time by Andre Ribeiro. He makes his final circuit here. The Brazilians are loving every second of it. On to the front straight. He won at Loudon last year on an oval. And he does it again. Andre Ribeiro, they're throwing their hats in the air. They're going crazy. Al Unser Jr. finishes in second. Scott Pruitt in third. Zanardi fourth. Christian Fittipaldi fifth. Look at this. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. We said right at the start, they do like their racing here in Brazil. And Rio now salutes the victory of Andre Ribeiro, his second IndyCar victory at this brand new oval and this brand new circuit for IndyCar. Andre Ribeiro takes the win of the first Rio 400. All right, so Andre Ribeiro takes the win. Let's go to Jack and getting the congratulations in what has turned out to be pandemonium in an all-Brazilian victory lane. Andre, congratulations, winning in front of your home country. <laughs> this is unbelievable. This is great. Look at the people, they are crazy. And I think I'm even more crazy than them. So this is fantastic. When you talked about coming to Brazil and running this race, did you ever dream that you would find your way to victory lane? Well, the first dream was to race here. And now to win is... It's much more than a dream. What about the emotional content? Because, you know, it's one thing to, to win a race at, the way you did last year, but now to win right here in your home country, be able to speak your Portuguese language and to wish these fans congratulations. Uh, th this is fantastic. Those, it's so good to see those people happy. Uh, you got to be pretty happy. <laughs> this is great. This is great. Gary? Al, this was a vintage Unser drive, as good as we've seen you work in some time from 12th back in mid-pack, and you had your hands full. It seemed like you were in a fight all day long. You've got to be, one, exhausted, but maybe two, elated. Well, I just, uh, you know, we worked really hard today, and the Marlboro car ran really super today, and, uh, yeah, it's just one of those things that uh, we're just slow down the straightaway, and, you know, I... I uh, jumped uh, Ribeiro on a restart a couple couple times before the last one, and he went by me down the straightaway so fast it wasn't even funny. And so, uh, you know, I just tried to just make a run on him, and I knew I couldn't run with him there at the end, so I just trying to protect my spot, and uh, and that was that. You know, I'm really proud of my guys. They did a super job, and uh, I want to say hi to Al, Cody, and Shannon at home. All right, here's a happy man in second place. He was down on horsepower, but he's on the podium, Paul. And boy, he looks exhausted. Here are the unofficial results. Three different engines at the top of the order, Honda, Mercedes, and Ford, and three different nationalities in the top five. Two Brazilians, two Americans, and one Italian. The entire unofficial results, so there doesn't seem to be a challenge to this order whatsoever. Special considerations, Mark Blundell, who was injured, small fracture to his right foot, and in practice, of course, Scott Goodyear. Scott Pruitt takes the lead in the points fight right now, and he's with Gary Gerald. Well, Paul, he just missed the podium in the season opener at Miami, but Scott Pruitt, another sensational <laughs> last lap battle, and this time it gets you on the podium. That's right. First of all, I want to say hi to everybody at home in the States. 
And second, you know, the Patrick guys did a great job all week long. You know, we, we really struggled at times. And even all race, I mean, it was close quarters, side by side, good hard racing. Um, you know, you can't you can't ask for anything better than that. I mean, we saw this, all the fans there on their seat on their, on, their, on, their, on their feet the whole time, and it was unbelievable. And it's going to jump him up very close to the top in the point standings, Paul. Absolutely on the top. Here are the final facts. Jill Farron ran the fastest lap of the race, biggest move. Hey, they happened all day. Sullivan Starr goes to Al Unser Jr. for his move through the field and the margin of victory at 2.14 seconds. And the defining moment, well, we actually saw it a couple of different times. It goes to Andre Ribeiro as he just pulled easily away from any of the competition. You can see it right there. So, Danny, we've had our first race in Rio. They're talking about a 500 kilometer in the future and renewing the old Triple Crown. Seems like a track that produces good racing. This was a track that had great racing. We saw racing throughout the field all day long. And uh, as I said, uh, my star is Al Jr. Two races, he's looking poised for another championship. So congratulations to Tasman Motorsports, Steve and Christine Horn, the owners who celebrate their anniversary today and a win for this man, Brazilian Andre Ribeiro.